Hello, I'm Gillian Toft. I'm an artist and I'm going to show you a technique I often teach in my classes. It's fun, it's useful, it's incredibly easy to do and if you haven't tried it before it'll open up a whole new world of possibilities for you and it involves cling film. The whole point of using cling film is to create a textured effect and the more scrunched up your cling film is, the more texture you're going to get. Before you lay the cling film down, you need to lay down your wash or dilute colour on the paper. You can use one colour or more than one colour. It's more interesting with two colours because they'll interact with each other and create more texture. You can use three or four colours, it's up to you. Uh, I find the stronger pigments create a much stronger effect, but you can get some very nice subtle effects from the weaker pigments, so it's up to you, it depends what you want to do. We then want to lay down the cling film. We don't need the cling film to be flat because that would just seal in the pig. We want the, the crunched up textured effect. So the more texture you want, the more scrunched up you want. And then you lay it gently onto the paper and let it sit on the pigment. This stage, it's very tempting to peel back the cling film to take a peek don't do it, step away from the cling film. You can go away, do something else for half an hour, work on another painting, make a cup of tea and come back when it's dry. Once it's dry, very gently and very carefully just pull it off. Okay, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to watercolour and cling film. I'll be posting more videos, so if you want to subscribe to my video channel you'll be kept updated on those. If you're on Facebook, um, you could like my Facebook page and that way you'll be kept updated on courses, new videos, new artwork, etc. And it just remains for me to say goodbye. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.